been around fighting for a club that represents Los Angeles. LAFC, that's the new MLS club. LAFC are single-handedly moving Major League Soccer and American Soccer forward at the way they're approaching this. Changing Major League Soccer for the better. We know it's a team that's going to unify the city. I think this team is trying to do something bigger than we've seen in the past. This is the world's game, and this is the world city. That's a magical combination. People come from every corner on the face of the earth to make their lives here, to build their dreams here, and to see what Los Angeles is all about. The spirit of this town is unstoppable. Are we ready for football? I've been able to play this great game go far and wide and I've seen the influence and the impact it can have can can have in people's lives. Hi, hi Will. You, you want in? It looks like you're in. Uh, this is not a, uh, a joke. I started playing soccer uh, in the mean streets of Irvine, California. I have three boys who all play soccer. My wife played soccer at Pomona. To say that soccer is, is a part of our lives uh, is an understatement. Now today was another big step. Three, two, one. I can see the, the wings and what that represents in the city of Angels. I can see the crest and how they take that from the crest of the, the city of Los Angeles. There's a lot of thought that went into it, but I think more than the thought that went into it, there was a lot of heart that went into it, and I think it, it shows. We haven't kicked off a ball, but we've got incredible community support so far, uh, and we're looking to continue to build that towards kickoff in March 2018. Club. We start now. Three, two, one. We're not just here to build a stadium or to build a team. All the owners here are really committed to doing everything we can to help the community to reunite. People now can live and work and come to enjoy a great soccer game and a soccer team right in their own community. A soccer only stadium with a view of downtown is a crazy dream, and now it's happening. Today we write our own chapter, the chapter of the Los Angeles Football Club. We're gonna gather together for something bigger than ourselves. This is where LA unites. Welcome to the heart of the city. Welcome to the heart of Los Angeles. As you see today, we are wearing the 3252. This is our supporter union. All of us independent supporters of LAFC working together to work as a family, to work as one, be the best supporter section in MLS and hopefully in the world. 3252 stands for three plus two plus five plus two equals 12. The 12 player, that's the fan, that's all of you. I want to see not only 3,200 cheering, I want to see 22,000. And now on behalf of the ownership group, I'm proud to announce that we will have safe standing rail seats in the Bank of California Stadium. I am in the 3252. You are in the 3252. Ronaldo, Messi, yep. Zlatan, Chicharito to be on this field when the reality is this is the roster. Okay, nicely done from Vela, and there it is! 
is. Well, you always remember your first. It's liftoff for LAFC, and it's Diego Rossi who's provided it. This is the mentality. Introduced himself to these supporters in a big, big way. Oh, it's a heavy touch. Bella! Que clase de jugador! Carlos, it's your city! On fire! It's not just his ability on the ball, Carlos Bella, or his ability to produce opportunities for his teammates. It's the fact that he's a leader. The fact that he can pull on that jersey, represent the supporters in style, and lead his team by example. Good pass to Vela. Vela lets it go towards Rossi. Back to Vela, continuing his run into the area. Vela. With Vela. Vela looking for another one. Vela, 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 we signed Carlos in the summer of 2017. He has exceeded lofty expectations on and off the field. His 2019 season is unmatched in the history of the league. No one could have possibly imagined the impact that the man we are honoring today could have possibly have had, not only for Los Angeles Football Club, but also for the city of Los Angeles. Los Angeles Football Club. 
Every time I go to Bank of California Stadium, I am so struck by the supporters. I mean, they are as passionate as they come, and they just completely raise the bar. The energy and the passion from your home crowd, you don't want to let them down. So, you know, I know that this team has to feel this energy every night when they come out. And uh, that's why they're going to clinch that number one spot tonight. <laughs> the shot! Go! Please direct your attention to the field for the presentation of the Supporters Shield. It's great that we can do it here. Obviously, what we pride ourselves on is that this club, which is only in its second year, has a real connection with supporters and a connection with the city and We've always tried to have a team that everybody could feel part of. I feel so good! To think that now we won a trophy tonight uh, and that we can all feel part of something that's going in a really, really good direction. We're all really proud. Tonight, it's the joy of, of winning something. much as I, I see little details and things that, that for me are so important, um, I also know the human part. I know the part when there's a group and everybody is part of something that's bigger than any one of them. And, and to see all of those guys uh, celebrate together uh, and, and to know how much it means to all the supporters that, are, that have been there from day one and, and just from the first minute to the last minute of every match, that part's special. If I could describe the rivalry, it would be passionate. This was the perfect start to the rivalry. Every game has its own story. This is the best rivalry in Major League Soccer. Games with the Galaxy take on an extra dimension. We came into that game feeling good about where we were. Obviously, it was early in our, our history, but we knew that our fans were gonna, you know, show up big. The 32-52, I mean, it was just ridiculous. We didn't know the magnitude or what really they could bring to the table in terms of like giving us that extra boost and in that game in particular we were like this is crazy in the middle Carlos Vela our fans made it feel like it was a home game especially at a rival stadium it's kind of unheard of the 3252 took it to another level and you know the first 50 minutes of that game we took it to another level too Galaxy, our galaxy. They have players who are big stars who can change the game in the blink of an eye. And obviously the, the score line at the end of the day wasn't what we wanted, but I think that was a great way to set the, the bar high for what this rivalry could really be. On a warm night in Southern California in downtown Los Angeles, the heat is turned up for this one. The biggest game in the history of this stadium and LAFC. In that playoff game, the anticipation to that game, just everything around it was magnified. Is this the night when the Derby pendulum in the City of Angels finally swings in LAFC's favor? Nobody ever said, what's it going to take to finally beat them? We all knew that it was our time. It's Bella! It's 1-0! And it's 
It is that man again. Tener otro equipo en la misma ciudad te da ese plus de querer ser el mejor. Vela. Es Messi. The number of times that LAFC would score so quickly that the smoke from their previous goal <laughs> had yet to dissipate. Everyone got their money's worth. Gap opened up for him. All the way! Ahí esta rivalidad va a hacer que los dos equipos nos esforcemos más por ser mejores, por tener mejores jugadores, mejor equipo, jugar mejor, tener los mejores fans. Yo creo que. La competencia siempre eleva a ambos equipos y, y es algo que es muy positivo para nosotros, para ellos y para toda la ciudad, que tengan más equipos en que disfrutar en sus tiempos libres. LAFC, to me, came in with all guns blazing as an elite super club in Major League Soccer. In the things that they did and in the way that they did those things. Okay, nicely done from Vela. You always remember your first. The fact that this was an expansion team that in an incredibly short period became this big bad super club that we judge by the highest of standards, I think is a testament to how right they got it in the beginning. We'll see more. They played the best soccer I've ever seen played in MLS, especially during that 2019 season. I remember I went to a game against Seattle. They won 4-1, and my mind was blown. I thought I was watching Manchester City play. Roll back in for Ramirez. What, what a goal. What a performance. What a team. This season was disappointing the way it ended, and, and you could argue they needed a change. It had gotten stale. But overall, I look at this, even without an MLS Cup title, as an immensely successful four years. Steve Chirundolo is LAFC's second ever manager, taking a step up to Major League Soccer. I know that this is a guy that's going to put every ounce of effort and everything that he can do into this and pour his heart and soul into the black and gold. And uh, I truly believe he'll be a success. Congratulations uh, to Steve Trundle, new coach of LAFC. We do feel really strong that despite last year, we feel really good about the foundation that has been laid here. This club needs to deliver the success that our supporters and our city deserve. We thought Steve was the right guy to help us with that evolution to take us further into greater success in the years to come. To sum up in one sentence, we want to score goals and we will continue to do that. We are attacking minded. Um, we will also be well-rounded, proactive in all phases of the game. Um, whether we have the ball, we don't have the ball, we want to dictate what happens on the field. Five years strong, LAFC going to kick off the 2022 season against Colorado Rapids, the defending Western Conference champions in the regular season. LAFC, three. Colorado Rapids kill the opener here of 2022. It's important after preseason to start the season off with a win. This is one of hopefully many, and this is just the beginning of our game. Rodriguez, good skill, goes across, it's a leveler, right at the death, LAFC! Lama, pinball at the machine, the cross, near post, second bite! Oh, Carritos! Ilya Sanchez! This team has character. They found themselves in preseason in some way. This group found a way to, to be a strong group, to be a family. Giorgio Chiellini is set to join LAFC. Gareth Bale has agreed a deal to join LAFC. We are attracting players in their prime who have options in Europe who are choosing to come here. It's the game in Major League Soccer when these two teams meet. When I think of a team that has a higher ceiling, you have to imagine that that is LAFC. We 
win in the, one of their next two games, including today, means they win the Supporters' Shield. Vela with a bit of space, with an angle, and with a goal of the utmost quality. Berenger still, oh, deflected it in, and it may be the moment that clinches the Supporters' Shield. To LAFC, the spoils for the second time in four seasons. I think this team is trying to do something actually a little bigger than we've seen in the past, which I personally admire in the fact that you don't have to necessarily separate. You want to go for one and you want to go for the other and they want to go for CCL. Like they're trying to do it all. People remember MLS Cup, all right? Yes, this team was built to MLS Cup. This club was built to win MLS Cups and they have been wonderful individually and collectively through its very short existence. The one thing missing, and it is in the palm of their hand. Roll that in, Borg, it was a strong Borg, who scores! I get there, it's popped in the air. Headed away, only as far as Grandsir! Into the bottom corner! Samuel Grandsir has been an LAMC killer this year! Hollings head up the right. Supporters' Shield winners, and now 90 minutes of football away from winning MLS Cup as well. It's the two best teams. There's a trophy at stake. What more needs to be said? Who's going to walk out of here with the trophy? Who's going to feel like all the work they put in all year and in the years past finally pays off? Underway! MLS Cup! Flock to find Vela to get a flexion just up over the bar. Arango picks it up. It's Martinez the tackle. Alan Acosta stands over it as well. It's delivered assist for free kicks to play. A little fake from Vela. It's Acosta off the wall. No changes for either side, who will be a first-time champion in 45 minutes from right now. This game is exactly what we thought early. It's fast, it's hectic, there's fouls. Martinez. On the deck, oh, it's gonna work for Gonzo! Philadelphia have tied the game! Vela swings it in. time. It's been 20 years since we've had two number one seeds. We've never had a meeting of teams with as good combined regular season meetings and records as this, so why not this good of a game? And that ends the first half of extra time. It's going to chase here on Murillo. Got bodied off by Ibiaga. Under hits the pass. Bird gets there in front of Crapo. What does his bill help him do? Thank you. 
77, John McCarthy. Five stones for Wagner. Wagner's crossing. Look at it for Elliott. What a save. They're about to go. Jack Elliott. Can LAFC find a way back in? His cross knocked down by Flock. Boonga second time. Boonga saved. That thing was knuckling. It was moving. Mentally now, who can switch right back into this game? Delia to Palacios to the byline. Palacios clipping it up. Bang! Sanchez Farris can win MLS Cup for LAFC. Yes! What a game. I don't even think it's debatable. This is the best game I have ever seen in this league. years but in the end we, we did it and now your 2022 MLS Cup champions LAFC
here, baby. Let's go. It's a wonderful atmosphere right now around the club, and we're using that to our advantage. Some happy moments at the end of the year, which makes the start of preseason and hopefully the work that the guys had to put in the offseason much easier and more enjoyable. At the beginning of the season, there's a lot of review of what we did last year, setting up good habits and behaviors of the players so we are prepared and have a great foundation to jump into that congested schedule. So there are some changes, but all positive, and we are really looking forward to the challenge of competing in five different competitions.